Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Invention Set 3. Question number 1. The first hand glider was designed by Option A. Leonardo da Vinci. Option B. The Wright Brothers. Option C. Francis Rogallo. Option D. Galileo. The correct answer is Option A. Leonardo da Vinci. Reminiscent of the modern hang glider, Leonardo's glider with controls relies on pure gliding without flapping. The aviation pioneer Otto Lilienthal, 1848-1896, built more than 10 aeroplanes, mostly gliders, stretching fabric over willow canes. Question number 2. Who is often called the first African-American inventor? Option A. Bessie Blunt. Option B. George Washington Carver. Option C. Benjamin Banneker. Option D. Elijah McCoy. The correct answer is Option C. Benjamin Banneker. Banneker was a member of the planning committee that designed Washington, D.C. along with Pierre Lonfon. When Lonfon was fired, Banneker recreated the plans from memory. Question number 3. For what does the world owe Armand Strauger a debt of gratitude? Option A. Parking meters. Option B. Vending machines. Option C. Automatic telephone exchanges. Option D. Traffic lights. The correct answer is Option C. Automatic telephone exchanges. He was an undertaker, and legend has it, he developed the automatic switch in 1889 to stop competitors from getting his work. Question number 4. Where was the yo-yo invented? Option A. France. Option B. United States. Option C. Philippines. Option D. England. The correct answer is Option C. Philippines. The yo-yo was first used by hunters as weapons. They were wooden discs on strings. In the 1920s, a man from the U.S. named Donald Duncan made the yo-yo into a toy after he visited the Philippines. Question number 5. What Elisha Otis invented? Option A. The brake used in modern elevators. Option B. Jet engine. Option C. Turbine. Option D. Hydraulic crane. The correct answer is Option A. The brake used in modern elevators. In 1853, American inventor Elisha Otis demonstrated a freight elevator equipped with a safety device to prevent falling in case a supporting cable should break. This increased public confidence in such devices. Otis established a company for manufacturing elevators and patented, 1861, a steam elevator. Many people think that he invented the elevator, but the truth is, he invented the elevator brake. He also invented the railway safety brake. Question number 6. What Thomas Davenport invented? Option A. Screw propeller. Option B. Electric streetcar. Option C. Chesterfield. Option D. Sleeping. Railway. Car. The correct answer is. Option B. Electric streetcar. Thomas Davenport was a Vermont blacksmith who constructed the first American DC electric motor in 1834. Davenport was born in Williamstown, Vermont. He lived in Forest Dale a village near the town of Brandon. As early as 1834, he developed a battery-powered electric motor. Question number 7. Benjamin Franklin was a prolific inventor. He invented the lightning rod, the Franklin stove, studied electricity, discovered the Gulf Stream, started the first library, and on and on. 
Among his many other inventions, what musical instrument did he invent? Option A. Banjo. Option B. Oboe. Option C. Clarinet. Option D. Harmonium. The correct answer is Option D. Harmonium. Ben also holds a lot of firsts. First U.S. ambassador, first political cartoonist, first American philosopher, organized the first fire department, and on and on. Question number 8. What invention is credited to the Russian-born American inventor Vladimir Kosma's walk-in? Option A. Telegraph. Option B. Radio. Option C. Television. Option D. Dishwasher. The correct answer is Option C. Television. Zwokin invented both the tube, iconoscope, for transmission and the receiver, kinescope, in 1923 and 1924, respectively. Question number 9. In which decade was the telegraph invented? Option A. 1810s. Option B. 1840s. Option C. 1870s. Option D. 1890s. The correct answer is Option B. 1840s. On May 24, 1844, Samuel Morse sent his famous message, What hath God wrought? Question number 10. What inspired reflecting road lights to be invented? Option A. Car door reflecting mirrors. Option B. The light a cat's eyes gave off on a fence. Option C. Sunlight on steel posts on roadsides. Option D. The sunlight on the windshield. The correct answer is. Option B. The light a cat's eyes gave off on a fence. In 1933, Englishman Percy Shaw was driving home when he saw a cat's eyes reflecting. He had been headed straight towards a fence with a cat on it, but on the other side was a drop of hundreds of feet. Question number 11. When were blue jeans invented? Option A. 1900s. Option B. 1860s. Option C. 1870s. Option D. 1850s. The correct answer is Option D. 1850s. The first blue jeans were invented by Taylor Levi Strauss, who invented tougher working pants for the miners of the California Gold Rush. Question number 12. Who invented electric generator? Option A. Sir Alexander Graham Bell. Option B. Michael Faraday. Option C. Alfred B. Nobel. Option D. Thomas Alva Edison. The correct answer is Option B. Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday FRS was an English scientist who contributed to the study of electromagnetism and electrochemistry. His main discoveries include the principles underlying electromagnetic induction, diamagnetism, and electrolysis. Question number 13. What device for new parents did Ann Moore invent in 1969? Option A. Bottle warmer. Option B. Baby monitor. Option C. Disposable diaper. Option D. Infant carrier. The correct answer is. Option D. Infant carrier. And got the idea for the snuggly infant carrier from the traditional African baby carriers she observed while a volunteer for the Peace Corps in Africa. Question number 14. In which decade was the transistor invented? Option A. 1940s. Option B. 1950s. Option C. 1960s. Option D. 1980s. The correct answer is. Option A. 1940s. 
on December 23, 1947, William Shockley, Walter Brattain, and John Bardeen, of Bell Labs, announced their discovery of the point contact germanium transistor to management. Question number 15. What Igor Sikorsky invented? Option A. Hydroplane. Option B. Jet engine airplane. Option C. Helicopter. Option D. Glider. The correct answer is Option C. Helicopter. Igor Ivanovich Sikorsky was a Russian American aviation pioneer in both helicopters and fixed wing aircraft. His first success came with the S 2, the second aircraft of his design and construction. His fifth airplane, the S-5, won him national recognition as well as FAI license number 64. Invented in 1939. Question number 16. What Henry Bessemer invented? Option A. Aluminum. Option B. Electroplating. Option C. Steel converter. Option D. Steel rolling mill. The correct answer is Option C. Steel converter. The Bessemer process was the first inexpensive industrial process for the mass production of steel from molten pig iron before the development of the open heart furnace. The key principle is removal of impurities from the iron by oxidation with air being blown through the molten iron. Question number 17. Who invented airship? Rigid. Option A. Dr. Alan M. Turing. Option B. Roger Bacon. Option C. G. Ferdinand von Zeppelin. Option D. Otto. The correct answer is Option C. G. Ferdinand von Zeppelin. Ferdinand Adolf Heinrich August Graf von Zeppelin was a German general and later inventor of the Zeppelin rigid airships. He founded the company Luftschiffbau Zeppelin. Question number 18. This English inventor is known as the father of computing. Option A. Philo Farnsworth. Option B. J. Press Parekit. Option C. John Morkley. Option D. Charles Babbage. The correct answer is. Option D. Charles Babbage, Morkley and Eckett invented the ENIAC computer. Farnsworth was a pioneer of early television. Question number 19. When was the game Frisbee invented? Option A. 1920s. Option B. 1900s. Option C. 1870s. Option D. 1890s. The correct answer is Option C. 1870s. The first Frisbees were Pythons from the Frisbee Pie Company in Connecticut. In the 1950s, the Pythons were changed to plastic plates. The name then became the Flying Saucer, but later changed to Frisbee. Question number 20. When were barcode scanners invented? Option A. 1940s. Option B. 1950s. Option C. 1970s. Option D. 1960s. The correct answer is. Option C. 1970s. The scanner reads the barcode label on something at a supermarket and translates it into a number which the computer reads. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.